Ah, I'm standing on a very small island, as you can see. A tu dużo normalne. Duże pręgi. Hello guys and welcome to Survival Russia. So today we're gonna build an X. And I know there's a lot of, a lot of Xing going on here on the channel at the moment, but uh, the reason I want to make this X today is I wanted to show you the five witch uh, method of uh, witching out an X. Here we have the X handle I made, um, but I will not use it on my own X. So I will. Uh, shrink it down a little bit and fit it into this old Soviet X. It's also a nice X, it's actually my father-in-law, so I'm gonna make it for him as a present, but uh, hopefully I can do this really fast and uh, show you how to uh, to make the wedge system and how to make this a uh, little bit different shape according to the masters of the of the Tiger. Actually I've been consulting some masters of the Tiger. Okay, so first off we're gonna make the shablon we're gonna make the template for for the shape of the x here because we're gonna modify it a little bit according to the to the tiger recipe or what you can say this should optimize the cutting performance in both dry and frozen wood and this and that so uh, let's take a look at it it's pretty interesting actually and by the way to make a good x definitely to make a good x handling and so on you need a good saw and here's one of the silky saws of mine you have not seen before. This is a silky Takeru Boy 240. And uh, one of the features of this saw is that it can rip cut. If you don't know what rip cut is, that means cutting along the grain and not only across the grain. And uh, that's very, very important actually. So to the sound of the Trans-Siberian Railroad there, we have our X on a piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is... We will roughly make the shape of the X here. And now I'm gonna reach over you guys and up here. So we're gonna prolong a little bit. So we now have a something like that. Then we're gonna draw the, the shape of the exit itself. And then we're gonna try and make a line here. And this line should of course be in line with the X handle or what you can say parallel to the handle, as parallel as possible. Yeah, then we can remove the X. We can draw a line here. <laughs> so now we have a scientific X diagram looking like this. Now we're gonna divide the X head length here, the out here, in three equal parts. That is 13 and a half. That means we can go with four and a half, that's centimeters of course. Something around there, four, nine, da 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 da. Oh, you guys are upside down. So this is the top of the X. So we're gonna measure one and a half centimeters or 15 millimeters <coughs> from the line out here until one and a half centimeters meet this part here. Ding. Then we're gonna take the lower part. It should be one centimeter, but uh, because of the shape of the X, it cannot. It cannot be that. You can see it goes in here. So this is also gonna be one and a half centimeters. Normally it should be one centimeter. So we have this top third here that we're gonna connect at a curve to the point on one and a half centimeters in there, right? You cannot really see what I'm doing here, most likely, but I'm gonna curve it a little bit the best I can. So I'm gonna cut this with a scissor and get back to you. We have the the shablon on the on the X head here. I'm just gonna paint here where to cut it. Okay, so we are back with the general shape here and I have marked 10 millimeters here on either side. And here I'm gonna start to make a little bit of a 
convex edge at about 15 degrees and uh, then later on I'm going to make it at uh, the final edge out here at about 24-25 degrees or something. And I'm wearing goggles and ears so I might sound a little bit weird. This Takeru boy here is a super super nice saw. <laughs> See this part here we're going to use for the wedges. This is a piece of, uh, of curled birch. This side I cut with a chainsaw. This side I cut with the little Takeru boy. And it's like, it looks like it's uneven, but it's just an optical illusion, you can say. It's super nice. The X fits the handle here. And uh, I had many questions last time why I had made this funky shape, as some called it, but it's sort of like a carpenter's uh, handle, carpenter's X handle. Because uh, I wanted it more like a working X, you can say, like, than. Uh, a big uh, felling axe or something like this because you know I use the saws and uh, axe work is almost always something of the of, of the finer kind so we can say that here so one handle here's another and uh, at the end here's a third now I'm gonna scribe up the uh, the pattern for the five wedges that is a really really funky system it should be something like this you can see the grain goes finely this way here, yeah, it's awesome. This is the center, of course. And now I will make a line here, a line here. Silky saws here, they are awesome for this kind of precision work because they are primarily pull saws. They also cut a little bit while pushing, but uh, there's much more control on it when uh, using this Japanese pull saw here. Yeah, I cut myself to make such fine cuts here without a rib cutting saw. So that is very, very difficult. Very difficult. So we have set of wedges here, set of wedges here. Awesome. So guys, this is the day after yesterday. And uh, this is the day where we're gonna put the five small wedges into the head of the axe here. Weather is hampering my projects, my work, my everything. So uh, yeah, I've made five small wedges here. This is uh, what we're gonna use for this extremely complicated uh, Russian wedging system. This is an excellent opportunity for you guys to see me fail completely because I have never ever done this before. You have to learn, right? And uh, there's only one way to learn. That's by doing. So. Uh, Let's get to it. So this uh, X build here is actually based on different sources and so on. So I'm uh, I'm combining a little bit. Anyway, there was a guy who said that uh, it was a good idea to to wrap the head with this. Uh, what do we call it? Gauze, gaze. In Russian is called marlia. So that is what it is. Soak it in uh, epoxy glue. Wrap it over the head and then put the head on because, as I said, uh, it's very difficult to make an axe head fit 100% and uh, it should also prevent the, the head from shrinking and all sorts of stuff. And uh, he actually said, if you don't believe me, try it. So that's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> so here we have the axe head with a slightly modified curve up here. It should be a little further out down there according to the Tiger Masters, but as you can see also I've been working on the edge with a with a file. So I made it nice and uh, convex actually. It's not sharpened yet, it's just a basic shape. This is the, the cartridge, the shotgun shell file. But uh, firstly I just want to explain how I make the, the edge on the, well not the edge, but the general convex shape. I do it with a file, as you can see. I put the head at an angle and a vise. Then you're filing it. You can also see I've been scra scribing it up here. But then you are filing like this. Because some, some think that when you have to make something round, you do like this. That's actually wrong. You will do like this here. 
But that's gonna be for another video with my Tiger X. Let's get on with this uh, X hanging stuff here because uh, I actually cannot wait to do it. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so we're just getting the epoxy resin here ready. It's gonna be awesome, the interesting to see how it works. So you can say this is a this is a mix between the old and the modern ways. And this five wedge system is of course a very complicated Russian system. As I said in another video, I think that Russians, they are extremely conservative and they either do something really, really simple or they do something really, really, really complicated. So uh, why not use five wedges? But, but anyway, it, it makes sense actually in some way. It makes sense because you see some, for example, my Hulta Force X. It's wedged uh, with a normal wedge and then it's wedged out with a ring as well. We're getting some black flies into the, to the mix here. It's awesome. Seems like black flies, they like uh, epoxy resin actually. But I'll try and straighten it out as nice as I can possibly do it. Let's get it on! Now everything is gunged up in the uh, epoxy version. I made myself a little knife here to get rid of the top because we don't need that. So I'll try and cut the cut this gauze here as much as I can before it uh, hardens. It'll take a while before it hardens, of course. But now we have the five little buggers here. This is where it's gonna be interesting. Speaking of wedging and so on, this little high quality hammer I brought with me all the way from Denmark almost have a one wedge, but the same built is in the same way as the five wedge system I can see on long two over. But that's a blah blah blah. Let's get this stuff in. Yeah, so we will start with the two. Let's have to sit here and here. So it's an excellent opportunity to see me screw up completely. Okay. And we'll take the first. This is for the front, I can see. The wedges are, are anyway much longer than, than where they're supposed to go, or as I can say, how deep they're supposed to go. Take a little bit of number two as well. And let's go to number three. Now we are at it. See, my the fear is that, that uh, all of a sudden I'm gonna hear and the handle is breaking. But so far, so good. As I'm a nice guy, I make experiments on presents to other people. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this stuff here is gonna dry until tomorrow, and then we're gonna test the eggs. So uh, I hope you like the video. Even if it's a little bit of a cliffhanger, check the links in the description. So share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like, and all that good stuff. And until next time, Get out of the train, get it done, and see you next time here in summertime Russia.